Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. So in this video, we're going to be playing around with the Milani Row. I think it's pronounced, or Row. The Milani Row X Doodles by Bunny Palette. This is also called like the Poison Ivy Palette. Now, I've never heard of Milani Row, Row before. So this was the first time ever that I was playing with their formula and owning one of their palettes. But I've, I've been following Doodles by Bunny for a while. I love her artwork that she posts. I'm surprised by now that she is not like a... I don't know what the term is, like creative director or something. Just somebody that produces the palettes that she does because her artwork is always spot on with anything that she does, whether it be with a franchise, like there was a Jaws palette, there's been Nightmare Before Christmas palettes and stuff like that. It's always so on point with the color story of the eyeshadows and the packaging. So I'm surprised that she is not working with like every single brand because if she did and she helped produce the, those type of palettes in real life, I feel like the makeup community would just be like a lot more funner um, with a lot of the fun palettes coming out. But she finally got a palette and it's with the Milani Rao. So this palette is going to retail for $39. I did use Doodles by Bunny's promo code, which is Poison Ivy. So I believe I got 15% off the palette. So it did come down cheaper for me. So I will leave the code right here at the bottom of the screen and it linked down below in case you are wanting to get this, but you want to get it just a little bit cheaper. This palette is going to be limited edition. So once it's sold out, the brand is not going to be bringing it back. So this is the outer carton that it comes with. It just says Doodles by Bunny X Milani Row, I guess. And it's kind of got a green packaging. If you take it out of the carton, this is what the palette looks like here. So it has Doodles by Bunny's signature font that she does on most of her palettes. And it says Poison Ivy. So this is going to be a green toned palette. Now, if you open up the palette, there is a really nice huge mirror in here that just says Doodles by Bunny on top and then the brand name. And this is the color story here. I really love these green tones. And I love that they also mixed in some kind of bluish green tones into this as well. So this is what the color story looks looks like here. Now there are going to be 14 eyeshadows in this palette. There is going to be one pressed glitter in here which is going to be Vine. It's kind of like a green with some gold kind of shift to it. Now I didn't end up using the pressed glitters today. I don't really like pressed glitters in a palette so that's kind of the downside if you're not a fan of those but if you are it looks like it's a really beautiful glitter. So this is the color story here and I'll show you guys up close. Here are all the shades. It looks like two of these, which was Ivy and Such a Itch, kind of are going to be more of a more intense metallic shimmer than the rest of the palette. So I tried to use as many eyeshadows as I could from this palette to get a good feel on the formulation. I used a couple of the shimmers today. I used Pistachio and Ivy as my inner corner highlight. So if you are interested in this eye look that I have on my eyes today using the Poison Ivy palette and you want to know my thoughts on the palette towards the end of the video, then just keep on watching. So this is the eye look that we're going to be going for today. As you can see, I'm super proud of it, clutching the pearls. So the eyes are already primed, and I'm going to be going into the shade Not Today Batman, which is a really funny and clever name to put in this palette. And I'm going to start stamping that in kind of an angular fashion um, on the outer crease. I'm also going to round out the edges just a little bit, and then I will go in with a clean, fluffy brush and kind of lighten up the edges a little bit. So again, it's easier to blend into our next transition shade. I am also going to be taking this shade a little bit onto my bottom lash line as well. I find that when you're using the dark shades and you want everything to like line up on the top and the bottom, it's best to start placing some of the eyeshadow on your bottom lash line. Um, just so that it kind of uniforms together, if that kind of makes sense. So you don't kind of have your waterline end and then it's not connected to the upper portion. So I'll be placing the black shade a little bit onto the waterline, not fully, but I'm just using some stamping motions to place this color down. And then again with the clean fluffy brush, I'll use some soft, um, what are the, what's the word I'm looking for? Sorry, that's my dog if you could hear her. She's up, she's up from her nap. Um, small uh, circular motions <laughs> to blend out this shade.
And now for the next transition shade, I'm going into the shade Cagquistal. I am so sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. I also noticed that I have been calling this brand Milani, and it's Milan, as in like the destination, like Milan, darling. But I keep calling it Milani. <laughs> So, so sorry about that, but I'm going to start taking this shade and I'm going to blend, start blending it into Not Today Batman. I'm just using some small windshield wiper motions, and I'm also going to take, again, that shade down onto my lower lash line as well, just to make sure that we stay connected with the upper portion of the eye and the lower portion of the eye. Um, and then before I go in with the lightest shade, I am going to dip back into Not Today Batman with a clean blending brush. It's going to be the same type of brush that I used to place down Not Today Batman, but I'm going to take a very, very light amount on my brush and just kind of graze over the skin, if that makes sense. Like I'm not going to press the brush down because I'm not trying to deposit a lot of pigment. I'm just trying to blend out that color. Since it's a nice dark black color, you just want to like lightly brush over the skin that way you don't overpower the transition shade that you would place down so as you can see here i'm just taking a light amount and just lightly dusting it over my eye to help blend these two together and now for the lightest shade in the palette i'm dipping into the shade calamine the names in this palette are so Cool and interesting they fit so perfectly so I'm taking calamine I love that name and I'm just gonna start blending that into the darker shade this shades gonna help give us that transition color going on so I'm taking a really big fluffy brush and I'm just placing that over before I go into the front portion of my eye I am going to dip back into and I'm sorry if I pronounce this wrong Cagquistal again <laughs> and just kind of build up that color a little bit go back in a, a small amount of calamine and just make sure that we have a nice blend so now for the front portion of the eye I'm going into new leaf and I'm taking a medium sized blending brush and quite a bit of the color on my brush and I'm just gonna start using some small circular motions to just kind of push the color around um, I don't want the front of my eye to be too dark, so I'm just trying to push the color, what I have already down around, and just make sure that it's still pigmented. So I'm only gonna take that mm, about like another halfway. I'm gonna leave that open space for the shimmer in between these two matte colors that we have down. And then for the edges, just to make sure that they're just nice and softly blended, I'm taking a small amount of calamine on a bigger, fluffier brush, and I'm just going to start dusting it over the corners of New Leaf just to make sure it's just nice and blended. And then I did take calamine and just kind of lightly connect the two together. I'm just, again, using a small amount. I'm not trying to like make sure that you can see calamine in that middle part. But after that, I'm going to actually go into the shade Pistachio. Now, my camera for some reason was not recording, so I'm just going to explain this here while I'm blending out the matte shade still. I just took Pistachio, and with a dry brush, I tried it out first. There was some pigment, but it wasn't that type of pigment that I really, really like. So I just took a flat, um, like, cut crease type of brush. I've been loving those brushes to place down shimmer pigments, so I think they're really, really nice. Um, a really good one is the, oh, what's it called? It's the, it's the Paloise, um, like flat brushes. I've been using those to place down the shimmer shade. I just kind of did like a kind of soft cut crease in the front and then just used what was left of the shimmer shade on my brush and pushed it up into my eyebrow, my eyebrow? Yeah, those are my eyebrow area. Um, and then I'm taking the matte shades that I had used before just to make sure that this edge right here is nicely blended out. And then for the bottom lash line, I'm just going to continue on with what I was doing, use the exact same shades again, and just kind of finish off the rest of the bottom lash line. So it's a pretty simple look, but I feel like it's still colorful and it's still glam. So I'm going to add some lashes and the rest of my face, and we will have the finished look.
Alright guys, and that was my tutorial using the uh, Poison Ivy palette from Milani Rao in collaboration with Doodles by Bunny. Now the packaging is really nice, super sturdy. The color story is really, really beautiful. The only thing that I don't really like about the color story, I guess, is that Vine is a pressed glitter. I'm just not a fan of pressed glitters in palettes. So I feel like maybe that one could be taken out, but the rest of them make sense for creating a green or even like a bluish kind of dark green look. I think as far as the mattes go, they do feel very buttery and smooth to the touch. They're very pigmented. They blended out really, really nicely. I didn't have any difficulties whatsoever. I didn't get any patchiness with any of the eyeshadows and they all worked really, really well together. As far as pistachio goes, the shimmer that I used all over my eyelids, it's a really nice beautiful shimmer. It's kind of like this minty green. I think it looks really beautiful on the eyelid. I went in with a dry brush. It didn't have as much reflect as I would have liked. So once I wet my brush with some MAC, MAC Fix Plus and went in, it really helped amp up the shadow a bit. So I would highly suggest either using your finger or wetting your brush in order to get the maximum pigment and reflect from the shade. But it's really, really beautiful, especially for like a halo eye. Now Ivy, which is supposed to be more of a more intense kind of shimmer versus like pistachio and poison ivy and ivy league, this one I like. It has a really beautiful intense shine to it, very metallic and reflective. The only downside to this shade is that it is very chunky in its consistency, so you do get a lot of fallout all over the eyes. When I was placing it in my inner corner, I had a lot of the shimmer kind of fall down. It's not such a big deal. I don't really mind fallout. You just clean it up on your face. You clean it up in the palette, but just to let you guys know that it is a pretty chunky shimmer shade, but the reflect is there. It looks really, really beautiful, and it does a really beautiful job of highlighting the inner corner if that's what you want to use it for. I think it'd even be really beautiful to use it as a highlight as well. So, so far I'm really impressed with this brand. I think everything worked really, really beautifully. I haven't had any difficulties whatsoever with anything and the color story just looks so, so beautiful. The palette itself is beautiful and I'm just really happy that she came out with a palette. She creates some gorgeous palettes on her Instagram. I think this is where picking up if you are a green tone eyeshadow lover. Well, that's pretty much going to be my video for today, guys. If you really liked it, leave a like on this video. It really helps my channel out. Comment down below what you guys think of this palette. Have you heard of this brand before? Will you pick it up? Did you plan on picking it up? And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see the next time that I upload. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.